Hi everyone, I'm Alyssa and I'm one of the Can Gap ambassador for this year. So I took my gap year last year, so during the 2021 to 2022 school year, and now I am studying at the University of British Columbia in Canada as a first year student. My whole gap year experience was revolved around um, building a business and trying to be entrepreneurial because I really wanted to go visit the uh, Middle East like area in that region because I was really fascinated with the, their culture. So one of my biggest goals was to earn enough money so I can afford to fly there and then like understand their culture without needing to rely on my parents. Um, and at the time, I was just out of high school. So for my entire life, the only thing basically that I got good at was like learning. And I was a very um, STEM focused student. So at the time, I was like, OK, I didn't really want to work a retail job because um, basically a retail job is like minimum pay. And then that would take a very long time for me to um, get to my monetary goal. And also I had some rejections um, like a previous years where I did apply to some like retail or restaurant job. So that really left a shadow in, in my heart. I was like, hmm, maybe I want to try something new and then try to start something myself. All right. So um, after I graduated, that was in May, 2021 from high school, I started, um, advertising about like a, a my business and I thought hey um, since I did pretty well in high school on um, STEM based subjects such as chemistry and math and physics um, why don't I start tutoring uh, kids or working with pairs to tutor to like uh, earn that uh, fund so initially when I was advertising I designed a couple of posters um, through Canva which is canvas pardon me um a free online graphic design tool this one was the one that i started with um initially i was like i didn't really know uh which group of students i specifically want to work on like i worked with a lot of like younger students as well like elementary student kids um and then also as well as like older high school student and then this is the second poster which at that point I narrowed it down to like um, more like STEM based. <laughs> like before that, I was actually also tutoring uh, English. Um, but I thought, hey, like I actually enjoy STEM based subjects more. And then this is one of the last poster where I'm like, hey, I really enjoy working with older um, students, such as like grade 10 to like grade 12 students. Um, so that's why I also narrowed it down to like the IB program, like student in the IB program. I created a website um, and I decided to also create an Instagram page. So why don't I show you that? So this is the website I created. I created it on Sp Squarespace and this is not sponsored by them, but I was like, hey, let's make people feel more like a understood like um because I was struggling really hard during my time in high school so I wrote a couple of paragraphs about how like I was really burning out in high school and just my journey and here is a little niche that I work in to help students like understand um like the more detailed concepts of like in the stem um and here I added a couple of qualifications or well just my high school grades and these are from my IB exams with seven being the highest grade and that is my diploma and you can see I just crossed out all the uh, personal information and just a couple of testimonial and also the tutoring services I offered it's mostly just the grade 11 to 12 sciences and IB sciences and mathematics so here's my little, um, I designed this little section for people to reach out. Okay. And I also additionally um, created this page on my story and how I decided to like challenge myself and do the IB program to um, let my clients understand me a bit more. 
And this was during the time where I was extremely um, busy because that's when COVID hit and then everything got shipped to online and this was just my desk. It was like a complete mess of like a lot of paper and then I was like using paper like crazy. Then this was one of my like grade 12 timetable and it just showcases like I was quite busy um, and that's when like my struggle began and just a bit more. Feel free to read more about this. I don't believe it's published anymore but I can try to link this in um, the file yeah but anyway so so that's my entire story and then these are this is the time when I graduated and yeah so additionally I had a couple of testimonials I made um and like the 10 lessons I learned um I was being really candid here because I learned so much as well as just the last page of like contact information but that's uh, basically my website I mainly work with students through Zoom and there were some offline students that at home I just had I was fortunate enough to have a little space where students can come in and then we can um, talk about um, specific subjects that they need help of and additionally through online students I use the Miro tool which is a digital whiteboard so students can interact freely with me and here are some examples of all the notes that um, I wrote for students or all the notes we collaborated on and then there are like about 20 boards of similar sizes or even bigger it just shows that um, we had essentially a lot of fun with the I had a lot of fun working with students and that's basically um, what we did so some things I wish I knew before I started is definitely um I didn't made uh make a lot of like mistakes um and mistakes that turned into lessons such as I initially like I had such high imposter syndrome because every time I look at say some competitors they would be like oh, doctor or like master, like graduates and that are also tutoring in this field. But for me, I was just like a graduate right out of high school. So I felt very insignificant in terms of my qualification. But however, gradually it got slightly better um, through like working and then being prepared and just like ensuring that um, students get as much as they can. Yeah. Um, and another one was... I didn't have the courage to set uh, personal boundaries initially and actually throughout the entire gap year I was well very fixated on yes like I guess like people pleasing because that was my first time really starting like a full-blown kind of like business um, and then I was just really focused focused on client experience but at the same time I kind of noticed how people have different values and for some clients like even if I try to satisfy them I try my best to do things um, that will assist the student the client can potentially still be unhappy because of our differing views and that's something that like I was of too afraid to talk about initially at the very beginning before they even become my client to like set boundaries because at the time I was very fixated on like money right um, because well, you can't blame me because that was the first time in my life where I had like earned like that much money. It's like the most money I've ever learned first time in my entire life. Um, so I didn't set boundaries. And as a result, like there were some clients that really re infringed on my personal boundaries, like such as like canceling last minute. Instead of making me more confident as a person, it made me like question my worth. In conclusion, everyone's gap years are different and then everyone can have different goals so after this entire gap year of mainly focusing on earning money I really realized that hey like maybe money is not the end of be all like I really deeply felt that um instead of just be like oh I really want to earn money but I also learned like hey maybe I want to take care of myself as well and earn money responsibly instead of like taking on all the clients I can. Um, but 
after all, yeah, I actually had, I earned enough, surprisingly, to cover my entire university tuition. So that is something I'm really proud of. I also had some extra that, um, well, was able to spend on some other interests, like I started learning to fly. And here's a photo of me um, soloing for the first time. So I flew a plane around an airport by myself for the first time. This is it. And I was like so hooked and I was so delighted. Um, but anyways, I love it. So um, that's the entirety of my um, gap year business running background and my experience and something that I just wish I knew before I started. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to learn more about this, the other people's gap year experience, feel free to check out the Cam Gap resources um, link down below. And they have an amazing team. They have an amazing website with a lot of different resources, like including managing like financing gap here or how to plan a gap here. And then there are other ambassadors who also made great videos on this topic. So definitely check out um, the channel for more videos and feel free to subscribe because more videos are definitely coming. Thank you.